And good evening, and thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Andrew Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. I want to get right to Denver 7 investigative reporter Jace Larson, who broke news about this investigation. Jace? Yeah, that's right, guys. The man under investigation here is the executive director of the Colorado Police Officers Foundation. That's a group that is raising money for Gum's family. It is not the same group as the Adams County Sheriff's Foundation. That's the main fundraising organization. We want to point out that no charges have yet been filed in this case. Our community has been generous, donating money to Gum's family through Adams County's official donation site and also through the unofficial Colorado Police Officers Foundation. Executive Director Frank Gale has been the voice of the foundation's fundraising effort on some local TV, saying that all the money will go to Gum's family. We're always going to be here for them. We're always going to be around and we're always going to be able to provide them support. But Denver 7 has learned former Denver Sheriff Frank Gale used to run a charity that helped refugees resettle in America. That charity shut down in 2015 but kept its bank account open. Now the Denver District Attorney's Office is investigating a big check that Frank Gale wrote himself from the refugee charity's account last year. According to court records reviewed by Denver 7, the bookkeeper who helped with finances discovered the check for $32,700. And she said Gail wrote in the check's memo line, reimbursement and consulting fee. I think it's um, problematic. Gregory Clifton teaches accounting at Metropolitan State University of Denver. Does it raise a red flag for you that the head of the organization is also the one who's writing a check to himself for that amount? Absolutely. Tax statements the year before the charity closed show Gail was not a paid employee. Clifton says that most charities have a board approved checks. Gail's attorney, Reed Elkis, says from what he knows, there is no evidence of wrongdoing, but he will not let Gail do an interview with me. $30,000 from anybody, but certainly from a charity, is extraordinarily serious. Defense attorney David Beller handles white-collar cases, and he says he finds it odd that Gail would be involved in fundraising for Gum's family while he's being investigated for embezzlement in another charity. Any competent lawyer would be telling this individual that continuing to solicit funds, no matter how well-intended, is simply not a good idea. Now, we checked with the head of the Colorado Police Officers Foundation, and a spokesman told me that he does not see a problem here because even though Gail is the executive director, the spokesman says that Gail will not be handling any of the donations. And, guys, the district attorney's office tells us that they have more investigating to do here, and we want to reiterate no one has been charged with the crime. All yet. right, but we know you will follow up, Jason. We will. Thank you. Jason mm -hmm. Larson tonight.